With the trade deadline quickly approaching and where the Cardinals are at in their rebuild, Cardinals have been named an organization that can possibly move off of some players in this year's trade deadline. Let's dive right into it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back into another video. Definitely do me a huge favor. Smack the like button on this video and subscribe for more Arizona Cardinals content. Make sure you follow me on all my social platforms. Everything will be in the description below. And another huge announcement. We are now streaming on Apple Podcasts. If you love the long form content and are looking to take the show on the road, right now we got two episodes uploaded on Apple Podcasts. Go ahead and go on there. Look for the Big Red Pod. Shoot us a follow and let us know how you feel about it. All right, everyone, let's dive right into it. Let's talk about the Arizona Cardinals and the trade deadline quickly approaching. Now, as of right now, where it stands, it actually lands on October the 31st, which is a Tuesday. And while we're recording this video, it's a little over two weeks away until the trade deadline comes here, right? Now, where we are at right now as an organization, we are sitting at one and four. And of course, because we are a struggling team, we have now become a focal point, right, with NFL rumors going out there with the possibility of the Arizona Cardinals being a seller during the trade deadline. So it is just kind of the, the realism of where we are at right now as an organization. Now, right now, we got three games ahead of us. We got the Rams, the Seahawks, as well as the Ravens. Now, if the Arizona Cardinals can somehow win a few of these games, which I get it, right? A lot of things are stacked up against us right now with a lot of these injuries that we ended up, you know, coming against us. And every week, it feels like we're fighting an uphill battle. So although I want to believe the Cardinals can win a few of these games, I kind of know where we're at right now as an organization, but let's just see, right? Right now it's TBD. Let's dive right into who are some players the Arizona Cardinals can possibly move off of, um, as well as what the rumors are out there saying, because believe it or not, there's some teams out there that really are looking at our roster and saying, we can benefit from this player coming to our roster, right? Now, it is really going to depend on how Monty Austin Fort is going to, you know, make this work, right? Is this going to be a fire sell? Are we really going to come out here to uh, get the most value we possibly can? Now, what, what we've done so far with the, uh, the assets or the players that we moved so far, we haven't really got a lot of value back, right? Now, obviously, we ended up just releasing DeAndre Hopkins, although, yes, we did gain some money back, but Isaiah Simmons was a player that we ended up giving away for a seventh round pick, and I know there was a lot of backlash with that specific move, but that might be the realism of what we might be you know, getting in this year's market. But right now, right, we do got some players with some high value. Let's dive right into some players that could be possibly moved off of in this year's trade deadline. Because let's be honest, I don't think we're going to be buyers this year. We're most likely going to be sellers. Now, please keep in mind that most of these players that we're going to talk about here today, I'm not saying all of them are going to be moved off of. No, I'm maybe just one or two, maybe even three, just depending on who Monty Austin for is really thinking is going to be the future moving forward. So let's just kind of keep that in mind. So let's dive right into it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about my very first player. And I think it's one of those players that we really need to come down to a realization of this might happen, right? Now, Marquise Hollywood Brown has been in the rumor market for quite some time now. One of the biggest teams that was kind of linked to Marquise Hollywood Brown was the Panthers. Um, now, I'm not sure if that's a, a real possibility, but being where Marquise Hollywood Brown is at right now with his contract and this being a, a contract year for him, the Arizona Cardinals haven't made a move in terms of extending Marquise Hollywood Brown, right? Now, Marquise was brought in for the sole purpose of backing up his guy or, or being with his guy, Kyler Murray, right? Now, as of right now, there has been no talks. There's been no negotiations with Marquise Hollywood Brown to give him a possible extension. So, of course, that opens up the idea of being that there is a little amount of money being paid to Marquise Hollywood Brown, there might be some teams that can that can very well benefit from having a Marquise Hollywood Brown and being either a number one on their roster or a number two wide receiver on their roster. Now, Marquise Hollywood Brown might be one of the guys that we have the most value within our roster as of right now. He might be a guy that we can move off of. Um, do I want to? No, absolutely not. I, I love what we've seen from Marquise. I think he is getting um, a, a chance to have a career year with the Cardinals if he can stay healthy. That's that's the biggest thing out there, right? If he can stay healthy, I think he can have a really, really big year for the Cardinals. And if and when Kyler comes back, it's only going to make his, you know, his numbers a lot better when he has his franchise quarterback 
playing with them, right? So that's one of the players that we want to talk about, as well as Zach Ertz being another player out there. Obviously, a tight end that's aging um, and is under the understanding that we might move off of them to go to a contending team. Now, there really hasn't been a lot of rumors or, or anything like that linking Zach Ertz to any other team, but the idea of him being an aging tight end and we're probably not going to the Super Bowl anytime you know this year um, or anytime soon Zach Ertz might be a player that might want to go to a contending team to give his full efforts and you know try to go to another team to to help them win a championship right or at least go in deep in playoffs right at least be contending uh, so that might be a player that we could possibly move off of as well now here's a player that a lot of people aren't really talking about but James Conner now I think the the biggest knock on James Conner right now is obviously availability as well as his contract now because of the market of the running back position i get it jt right jonathan taylor just got paid but there's so many teams out there that do not want to pay running backs right and james connor is one of the highest paid running backs in the nfl as of right now those might be the biggest knocks on james connor but man this guy can still play this guy is a workhorse for the arizona cardinals and i mean i guess that might be one of the reasons why he is hurt a lot of the times but this guy can still play right he can still add a lot of value to any roster out there especially if they're looking for that number one running back james connor can definitely be a guy that we can possibly move off of right now another player i want to talk about here is dj humphreys now i don't think this is going to be a real possibility because uh, Left tackles, people on the line don't grow on trees. So although I don't want to move off of DJ Humphreys for the idea of it's really, really hard to find a staple point for your offensive line, some fans out there that truly feel like the Arizona Cardinals can get some really good value from a DJ Humphreys and maybe the idea of either leaving Paris Johnson in the right tackle or moving him to the left side because he's very, very comfortable with the left side. That can be a, a possibility here for the Arizona Cardinals as well to move off a DJ Humphreys because as of right now, the top people that are getting paid the highest that are not on IR is Marquise Hollywood Brown, DJ Humphreys, Zach Ertz, and then Jalen Thompson, uh, and then Paris Johnson Jr. Believe it or not, right? A lot of players on this roster right now, that's not making a lot of money. I think a lot of our high caliber players are either on IR, right? That's your Buda Baker, your 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 Kyler Murray, your uh, James Conner. Those guys are on IR right now. So I'm not counting those guys per se, but right now it is Marquis, uh, DJ Humphreys, Zach Ertz, and then Jalen Thompson, and then Paris Johnson Jr. being right under there as a rookie. So uh, there could be some movement here for the Cardinals. Now I'm not going to come out here and say that Monty Austin Ford is going to go on a fire sell. I hope we don't because I would rather keep most of these guys, right? But if there is one of these guys that are going to get traded, that can be another instance where the Arizona Cardinals can keep building some more draft capital moving forward for the four years. And that's talking about 2024 and then 2025. So those are the players right now that stick to my mind that can possibly be moved off of. Now, one other player I want to mention here that I know a lot of people don't want to talk about, but is Buda Baker. I think Buda Baker might have the most value out there, the most value out there, because he's the guy that's the heart and soul of this defense. He seems to be um, the guy that's always reliable to be on the field. Now, obviously, this year, he landed on the IR. Buda Baker is a guy here that really wants to fight for his team because, honestly, in that last year's uh, injury that he had, he should have been out longer than he was, right? But he ended up coming back to, to fight for his team. Um, and, and it didn't really get us anywhere. Obviously, we were a four-win team last year, but we are kind of here right now as a organization. Now, one of the, the, the other players out there that people want to talk about is the idea of Kyler Murray being moved off of I think that one might be the hardest to be moved off of because obviously his contract he's been hurt and just the narrative of what's been going on right now with the Kyler Murray uh, saga but let's be honest here I think there is at least five to six to seven teams that can very well benefit from having a Kyler Murray if the Cardinals choose to do that I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's an absolute long shot that the Arizona Cardinals are going to move off of him. We've heard JG saying that he is going to be playing this year. We just don't know when, but we also did hear him say that he's going to be playing a decent amount this year as well. So as of right now, it's just a waiting game uh, for Kyler Murray. I don't think he's going to be moved off of, but there is some players like a Marquise Hollywood Brown, a Zach Ertz, um, or maybe even a James Conner, a Buda Baker that could possibly be moved off of in this year's trade deadline, which means that we have about a little over two weeks away from when we're recording this video in terms of maybe being one of the last times we're going to be seeing them in, in Cardinal Red, right? Because we got James Conner on IR. We got Buda Baker on IR. Now, some might say that they were moved to IR because we didn't want to risk injury, right? Especially when the trade deadline comes here. 
who knows, right? I, I, I'm not one of those guys that, that want to talk about conspiracy theories, but whatever the Arizona Cardinals decide to do, although it would hurt me to move off of Buda Baker, I get it. It is going to be for the longevity of this organization. I really hope we can just find another Buda Baker somewhere in the draft. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? Is there another player out there that you want to talk about here that maybe, just maybe the Arizona Cardinals might move off of in this year's trade deadline? Let me know here in the comments below. I appreciate you guys for tuning in as always. Have a great rest of your day and go Cards.